Update. Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Mackenzie Jonikin with your midday Arklamis update. West Monroe is currently in the search for their next chief of police. The next top cop will be appointed by Mayor Stacy Mitchell with the help of a committee she selected. The Police Hiring Advisory Committee had their meeting on Thursday where they finalized the questions that the candidates would be asked in the interviews. Mayor Mitchell explains what she is looking for in a police chief. I'm looking for someone that's going to lead West Monroe Police Department with honor and integrity. Um, you know, listen to the public, be out there in the community, you know, how to better serve the public as far as obviously safety um, and, and just having, adding to our, our community and, and being a good place to live. The candidates are West Monroe Captain C.J. Beck. Chad Michael Grimmelin with Louisiana State Police, West Monroe Police Sergeant Tommy Jones, and Green Oaks Detention Center Director Jason Pleasant. Candidate interviews will be Friday, March the 24th. It's not yet known if the interviews will be open to the public. Big news for Monroe in an exclusive interview that you can only see on NBC 10. The Surface Transportation Board gave the right of way to Canadian Pacific to run passenger rail through Northeast Louisiana. Thursday, Amtrak asked the Federal Railroad Administration for a letter of intent to fund the entire project from start to finish. This country for the past 70 years has cut back on long distance passenger rail. This is the first time this country and Amtrak has made the choice to expand long distance passenger rail. But to hear it happen tonight, it's it's very, it's like Christmas comes early and it's good news to, to should be to our region. Smith tells us that the reason the I-20 corridor was chosen for the expansion was the connection of what he calls the mega economies of Dallas-Fort Worth in Atlanta. The city of Monroe recognizing artists for two basketball murals at a local park. One will be installed at the Charles Johnson Park and the other will be installed at the Powell Recreational Center. This project is being made possible by a grant awarded to the percent of for art program for the Division of Arts to incentivize, incentivize local art and bring money to the community. These parks uh, will go through uh, uh, overlay and um, some beautiful art to be put here uh, and working with some just wonderful artists here in our community. We do need to hear from you. We would absolutely love your input because we don't want to just come and put something here or over there. We want you guys to actually be involved Residents can participate in the community engagement meetings prior to the murals reveal in the fall. For details, visit myarchimist.com. Now to a news update. The opening of Bucky's in Ruston has been delayed until the middle of 2025. This comes as the required traffic study by the Louisiana Department of Transportation has been delayed. The needed approval from state legislators for the service road will not happen until July 1st of this year. And now, Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Trey Tonnison. Started out with some rumbles of thunder yesterday afternoon and transitioned into some storms and then some decently strong storms overnight across southern Arkansas first and then parts of north central Louisiana. Good news is for today, most of those storms have moved on out to the east. And with that, a cold front also moving to the east that helped to push those through our atmosphere through the overnight hours. Now on into your Saturday and Sunday, more cool air flowing into the northeastern United States and below average temperatures returning for the southern United States as well. But moving on into your day today, temperatures not too bad for highs into the low to mid 50s with those morning storms continuing before they move on out to the east, leaving us with some lingering rainfall into the second part of your day and afternoon. And as for temperature lows tonight into the low to mid 40s, clouds lingering more of a broken pattern throughout the evening. But the good news is on into your weekend, we're moving forward into a mostly sunny pattern with cooler temperatures. Watch out for those overnight lows Saturday and Sunday into the low 30s, possibly just above freezing. Then into next week, we start warming up again. A little bit of cloud cover returns, but not much rain.